When the case of 47-year-old Floyd Ifield Davis was called today before the court on gun-related charges, he could not appear to answer because Ifield was murdered in his yard at mile eight and a quarter on the Western Highway. Davis had gone out earlier on Sunday evening after he had made family dinner and had just driven into his yard and gotten out of his car shortly after 11 on Sunday night when someone who was apparently lay waiting him shot him several times at close range. While his family has no clue who wanted the taxi driver dead, other sources tell Love News that Ifield had received threats after he was nabbed about a year ago along with two others charged with him in the gun-related offenses. His taxi services were hired on one August night in 2010 and it was while executing that job that police searched his vehicle and all the occupants were charged. It is not certain what evidence Davis would have given in court today because his life was cut short less than two days before he was scheduled to appear before the magistrate. Today, police told the media what they have gathered so far on his killing. He exited his vehicle and was immediately ambushed. Investigators believe that it's more than one gunman. He received gunshots to the head, the chest, uh, most of the upper body, he died on the spot. We are looking for three persons in connection with this incident. We know for a fact that he was charged jointly and was in front of the court answering is, to is, charges. Is there any indication that he had turned Crumb's evidence in that matter? Jules, that would be a part of the investigation, so I wouldn't be at liberty to answer that. Police have recovered five 9mm slugs from the scene. Marion Ali for Love News.